Morning. Um, quick little video uh, for you. I'm not going to cover this in class unless you just have questions, um, but you will be responsible for it. Um, but some things that you can do to, um, it's kind of hard for you at your age, frankly, but if you're sitting on some big money for whatever reason, good for you, uh, or you're thinking about grad school, which, you know, down the road a bit, uh, but this is more for like, you know, eventually your kids or, or your niece or nephew or godson or goddaughter or whatever. Uh, but some ways to save for college, and some of you may have these, I don't know. Uh, hopefully you do. But um, that can help you uh, down the road, uh, avoid taxes and, and so on and so forth. And they're called, uh, well, there are two types. There's one called 529 plans, okay? And there's another one called a Coverdell. ESA, and they're basically the similar idea. They're just run a little differently. Think of 529 plans as kind of like uh, 401s, 401ks, and think of Coverdell's as Roth, okay? But in both cases, what happens is um, the adult uh, sets it up in their name. You don't put it in the kid's name because as soon as you put it in the kid's name, they turn 18, they can spend it however they want. Okay, so you set it up in your name, and then you name the kid or whoever as the beneficiary. Okay. So with a 529, you put money in when the kid's little. These are both the same. Okay. And then you're hiring somebody to make those decisions. Um, so basically, if you put it in when the kid's two, okay, you're not going to need that for like, you know, 16 years, let's say they're going to be more risky, more, more aggressive, I guess is a better word, uh, with investments. And as the kid gets older, um, you know, and gets closer to time to use it, they sort of calm down and get more safe. And by the time you're 18, it's ready to go. Okay. With a Coverdell, um, so the company decides, again, like a, like a mutual fund company, here, you put money in, and the person decides. You decide what to do with it. And you can have both, by the way. Um, you decide, and you can be, you know, when, when Chloe was two, I, or three, I guess, when they started, I started one for her, and I was a bit more risky here, and, was, and you know, here this was a bit more safe, so it kind of was a balance. But either way, what happens is, and this is the whole point of this, is when you... Um, um, when it comes time to use it, okay, if you use for what are called qualified educational expenses, QEEs, which basically think tuition, room and board, books, stuff like that, lab fees, things like that, um, you can take that money out and use it tax free, which is a good deal, okay. Um, and to be honest, not to brag, but, but Chloe uh, ended up debt-free uh, because of these. And her mother and I both had one, and uh, she had scholarships and so on and so forth, so it ended up being that she has zero debt coming out, which is very nice. Uh, not always, you know, we can't do that, but it was nice for her. Um, and in the case of Coverdell's, this is kind of, this is a bit newer. You can also use, and by the way, anything, four-year, two-year beauty school welding school, Ivy Tech, any of that stuff, uh, you can use these. Okay, so it's not just like IU Purdue kind of thing. Um, but with these, these can also be used for um, like high school, private, you know, I don't know, it depends on where you end up living, some places, private schools, or you might want to send your kids to private school anyway, cathedral, chitard, or even, you know, park tutor types. Or, or even elementary schools and things like that. But that will work on those um, as well. So pretty good deal here uh, for you to avoid some taxes, uh, put money aside, uh, to, to be honest, not to be morose, but some people uh, put inheritances. Or, you know, if grandma and grandpa give you money for Christmas, put it in the 529 instead. It's not as exciting, but long term, it's a pretty good deal. So, again, any questions you have, let me know. Um, but they're pretty straightforward. All right, bye.